But before that, yeah, we have, off. oh my, we flew this team down from yeah. New York City yeah. today. <laughs> They're here tonight for you guys to do some short form games, have a lot of fun. Uh, and we're very excited to have them. Really excited. Okay, so you better give them a very yeah. warm round of applause. You hear me? Yeah. As loud as you can get, big round of applause for... Test Tube Maybe! Test Tube Maybe! We're gonna do some crew for you. Threw me out though. We're from New York because I, uh, it's just been a long flight. It's true. Um, it's true. It's all true. That's what I'm saying. It's very true. Uh, this first game, uh, all I need is Todd and Sean. Everybody else, please remove yourself from the stage. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, we got Todd and Sean here. Uh, Todd and Sean are uh, about to improvise a scene. Uh, this game is called New Choice. The only stipulation here during this scene is that at any time I can yell out New Choice and they have to change that line of dialogue or it might be an action, whatever it is, uh, until uh, uh, I suit that I think that it's going to move forward, then they got to justify that choice. So to get them started, all we need is a situation maybe two people uh, might find themselves having to deal with. Maybe like uh, changing a tire or a house is on fire or... Your zookeepers, uh, and, and and that's not really a situation. That's a job. <laughs> so let's let's say your zookeepers and all the you, all the animals are gone. All the animals are gone. Uh, let's get a round of applause. And here we go. Yeah! They've all escaped. Wait, wait. What do you mean when you say all, and what do you mean when you say escape? Okay. You know how we've been zookeepers here for like twenty years. Yes, we've yes. Been... The San Diego Zoo, the shining star. Of New choice. The uh, Cleveland Zoo, the epoch, if you will, of all zoology. New choice! Uh, you know, the Trigimbo Zoo. Yeah. <laughs> well, well no new choice. <laughs> Here, at your own personal zoo. Yeah, I've been working for 20 years for you, and, and what do you mean they're all gone? I had just got to work. I started feeding the rhinos. Okay. I started feeding, then I fed the lions. Okay. First off, feeding the lions is my job, Terry. You're not supposed to get in there. You know that, all right? You're there to look at the lions, not to feed the lions. But they love me. New choice. But these lions hate me. New choice. But these lions ate my foot off. Whoa! New choice. But these lions are now not brown lions. They turned purple lions. <laughs> New choice. <laughs> these purple lions have now left our facility and are now walking on their hind legs. New choice! These lions are now leopards and they have spots all over them. New choice! These lions are now cooking us pizzas at the pizza shop we just opened up. <laughs> okay, hang on, Terry. So you're, you're not saying the animals are gone, you're saying they relocated to other parts of the zoo. Yes, they did incorporate themselves into society. <laughs> they are not animals anymore. New choice. They incorporate themselves into society. They are not cars anymore. New choice. <laughs> they incorporate themselves into society and now they are mad scientists. New choice. They've incorporated themselves into society, and now they're sweeping up their own shit in the cages. <laughs> Terry, Terry, that's fantastic. Do you know how much this will save us on overhead? I mean, if we have monkeys running the gift shops, if we have uh, uh, llamas giving out ice cream, you know? I, <laughs> now you're thinking. It's just really the lions, tigers, and bears I don't trust, Terry. New choice. It's really just the lemurs, raccoons, and... <laughs> Uh, red pandas that I don't trust, Terry. New choice. It's really just the rhinos, hippos, and ostriches that I don't trust, Terry. New choice. It's it's you I don't trust, Terry. <laughs> it's your ability to manage a bunch of animals. I mean, look, you just let them go. What did you tell them you were going to pay them? Have you even talked about that? All right, so maybe it's not so good for a right. See, Terry, this is why you hired me to run your zoo. New choice. See, Terry... This is why you called me down here today to fix yet another problem. New choice. See, Terry, this is what family's all about. <laughs> <laughs> it's about digging each other out of a hole. It's about finding ourselves in a real shit situation and making it better. You went to school for 20 years. New <laughs> choice. You went to school for three years. New choice. <laughs> you went to 
pizza making class and sushi roll expertise class for a month. A month. <laughs> and Two now times. you went to overboard on thinking that you were qualified for this job. <laughs> okay. Way overboard. Okay. Now, I may have exaggerated. Now, when I said I worked with animals, what I did mean is that I chopped the chicken at Chipotle. So, so that is working with an animal, just in a different context. But I think that I could be the guy to turn this around. New choice. I think I could be the guy to really make this the zoo of the Americas. New choice. I think I could be the guy to infiltrate the monkey sector, make them believe I'm one of their own, and then, when they're not paying attention, topple their leader and take over as the monkey king. Let's do it! We can totally get together and topple the monkey king! Ha <laughs> The lions won't stand a chance if we have the monkeys with us! <laughs> monkey kings, though... I didn't say kings, Terry. Just, there's no plural kings. <laughs> there's one? There's monkey. one monkey king. But that leaves me to be a little peasant to the monkeys. New choice. But that leaves me to back to sweeping up their monkey brains when the other monkeys are eating them. New choice. That leaves me now having to come over to you and fire you and send you back to school. New choice. This now makes me the bad guy in the family and I lose all the inheritance. New choice. This now makes me even worse. Because now I have to ride my bike to school, you're not going to give me a, a ride anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. Oh, man. That was weird. stupid. Uh, <laughs> this next game is called Superheroes. Uh, this is for Adrian, uh, Patrick, or no, uh, Jesslyn, uh, and Anthony. Who else is this? Steve. Steve. That's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, and and uh, you guys will be coming on uh, shortly. Uh, we're going to start with Adrian. Uh, uh, I need, all I need to get Adrian started is uh, he um, needs to be like an unlikely superhero name. So who is Adrian? The Dead Crow Boy. Well, <laughs> I heard two things. What was the first one? The Dead Crow. The Dead Crow. What was the last one? Toaster Boy. Toaster. I like Toaster Boy. Oh. Sorry. I mean, we're at the Dead Crow. Yeah. <laughs> we're so, all the Dead Crow. Yeah. I mean, Toaster Boy. Hey, oh my god, I just put it together. It, he was killed in this town. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, lived here five years. Yeah. I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> so Toaster Boy, uh, David is Toaster Boy. What, what world crisis uh, is a Toaster Boy having to deal with today? Could be anything. Climate change. Climate change. <laughs> All right, Mr. Boy, uh, your mission is to fix climate change. Let's give it a round of applause. And here we go. Yeah! Hey, <laughs> Another great day here in the metropolis of Wilmington. Let's turn on the news and see what's happening. <laughs> oh no, a crisis. A crisis, I'm gonna need my heroic crust. <laughs> it looks like, oh no, climate change. The change in the climate is changing. Oh no, this looks like a job for the entire League of Superheroes. The Cape Fear Fighters. I got here as soon as I could. Thank God you're here, lunch lady. Can I scoop you another meatloaf? Oh, no thanks, not before 9 a.m. lunch lady. There's a crisis. Mm, oh, let me just push my tray over. <laughs> the climate is changing. The earth is getting hotter, yet cooler at some points. My God. <laughs> Sorry, please, don't, go. don't drop meatloaf sauce on my coils. <laughs> I'll turn on the toast signal and for the rest of conjure up the rest of the Cape Fear heroes. Oh, I got the call. I'm here. Thank God you're here, Captain Thoughts and Prayers Man. <laughs> I'll do everything I can. <laughs> Except for some parts, they're just melting, and other parts are hurricanes, and they're too wet. The climate is changing. <laughs> We're almost our most powerful number four. Here. Oh, it's you. Oh, 
crippling anxiety man. <laughs> I hope it's okay that I'm kind of late. You guys aren't mad at me, right? <laughs> no, 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 yeah. There's, there's a, a, a G20 summit where all the leaders are not concerned about climate change whatsoever. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them we should maybe in a non-forceful way let's let's just think about it. I, I got this, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you, see you guys later. Don't talk about me though. We don't talk about me. Okay. Bye. There's no way he's gonna do that, right? No. no. <laughs> well, yes, I. I have a great idea. I'm gonna go home. I'm going to log on to all my social medias. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a bunch of posts that all my thoughts and prayers are with climate change. Okay, <laughs> great. great. I'm gonna shout out like just that I can't believe people aren't doing anything more, no one's caring about it. You know, it's just gonna be it's gonna help heal us. Yes. I love it. Great <laughs> idea, thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Godspeed! Now, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch to energy efficient appliances and ovens because one person can make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like the Cape Fear fighters have solved another crisis. <laughs> Speaking of ovens, I could use a little more brown time. Yeah. We get to give them a round of applause and they join me in one second. Who likes movies? Who remembers movies? Yeah, we like movies. We love movies here uh, at Daredevil Improv. So our next game is called Ox Oscar Worthy Moment. Because it's Oscar season, we're going to treat you to some of the finest uh, films that you can get on uh, stage in a live show. Um, <laughs> these three are going to be improvising a scene from an Oscar winning movie. Um, and then at any point, I'm going to shout out the phrase Oscar Worthy Moment. And then. They have to deliver a soliloquy or monologue worthy of an Oscar winning performance. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Here's the gist of it. Uh, to get them started, I just need an occupation that is either no longer around or it's going out of style. Something that nobody does anymore. A tin typer. A tin typer. Beautiful. What, what, what's a tin type? Just, just to be clear. Well, I know what it is, but why don't you clarify for Chad what it is? We take little, like, metal inserts and photographs. Yeah, like you get an Abraham Lincoln tin type. It's just little tiny little dots around Thank you, thank you. I wanted, I wanted to know for Patrick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> the game is Oscar worthy. Moment. Let's give him a round of applause. Here we go. Margaret. Yeah. I have some bad news. Go tell. Tiny tin type of sacramental is going out of business. Oh no. That's our major competition. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's bad news because that means we'll be going out of business next. That means it's an end of an era. We're not popular anymore. Hey yes. y'all. <laughs> um, I just got word uh, that um, they ran out of baguettes down the street. <laughs> Oscar worthy moment. <laughs> and I mean, I, I guess I just wonder, you know, with tiny tin tappers, tin tapping, going out of business, <laughs> them running out of baguettes, I just wonder what's left for us, you know? I, <laughs> I think we've we've existed in the cracks of things for far so long. I just I just don't know if, if this world is for for those of us who dream to put things on tiny tin tack. <laughs>
internet. <laughs> because I know that tiny tin typing is going down the tubes. I know bagels are going down the tubes, but I know what's going up the tubes. Internet. <laughs> Never heard of it. You will, or you'll die in the wake of internet's breath. <laughs> hey, do you mind if I sit in your chair and eat my saltines but, while you're being a villain? Please, <laughs> please sit in my chair. Oscar worthy moment. P oh, please <laughs> sit in my chair. You know, it won't be the last chair you ever sit in, but it will be the last time you sit in my chair. <laughs> I sold all the chairs in town. <laughs> Invested them in the internet. I am the one who is making all this happen. I am the one who has destroyed the baggage, the tin typing, because I want the internet. <laughs> Mr. Gates, Mr. Gates, please. I just wanted to sit in your chair and eat my saltines. <laughs> Donald, I guess this is our last tin typing. Oscar worthy moment. My husband Donald thought he knew it all. But I was the one pulling all the strings. He thinks he had the internet idea. Ha! <laughs> my idea. But as a woman in the 1920s, you can't have an idea, can you? But you can wait an idea until your husband and business partner's ear, can't you? <laughs> Take the credit, Donald. Fuck you. <laughs> well, there's only one thing to be left to be said. You're fired, Philip. <laughs> you can no longer use your baguette delivery services. <laughs> well, I'll be taking this chair then. <laughs> I don't think you're a good man. Oscar <laughs> And I have loads coming in here and delivering fresh baguettes to you in this tiny tin type of business. <laughs> because swill, swine, the bottom of the barrel like you, you don't deserve what bread gives. Bread is a lifeblood of civilization. <laughs> since since what? Human beings have been able to grind flour, they have been able to make bread, and it's a way of sharing things. It is a way of sharing things between people. That's why when you make a contract, you're breaking bread. Breaking bread with the person is the single most intimate thing that you can do, aside from coitus. <laughs> single member of this audience is thinking the exact same thing. Oh boy, what would it be like to have sex with those people on stage? <laughs> Sex with me. It's a joke-based game. Uh, it's very fun. You'll get the hang of it. All we need to get started is what did I? What did I think? I had an idea. Oh yes. Uh, what is your favorite animal? What is your favorite animal? Uh, a rat. Giraffe. A giraffe. Sex with me is like a giraffe. Sex with me is like a giraffe. Let's give a round of applause. Here we go. Yeah. Sex with me is like a giraffe. It's a lot of throat. <laughs> Sex with me is like a giraffe. You'll be surprised at the length of my tongue. <laughs> I like to start with necking. <laughs> Sex with me is like a giraffe. It's spotty. <laughs> Sex with me is like a giraffe. I can reach places no one else can. <laughs> Sex with me is like a giraffe. I'll eat what every other animal thinks is poisonous. <laughs> Sex with me is like a giraffe. You're not going to see it around these parts. <laughs> Sex with me is like a giraffe. No one knows what it sounds like. <laughs> Sex with me is like a giraffe. When I come out of the vagina, I'm standing up. <laughs> Sex with me is like a giraffe. You have to pay to 
See you one. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. <laughs> uh, what is what is uh, what is something you wanted to be when you were a kid? Astronaut. An astronaut. Great. Sex with me is like an astronaut. Sex with me is like an astronaut. Let's give a round of applause. Here we go. Yeah. Sex with me is like an astronaut. A lot of wieners. <laughs> <laughs> After you finish the job, you're going to be driving around in a diaper. (laughs) (laughs) Sex with me is like an astronaut. Uh, We're going to explore Uranus. (laughs) Sex with me is like an astronaut. You can dream about it for your whole life, but it's probably not going to (laughs) happen. Sex with me is like an astronaut. You could die. (laughs) Sex with me is like an astronaut. You can feel like you're on a rocket. (laughs) <laughs> Sex with me is like an astronaut It's only for billionaires now <laughs> Sex with me is like an astronaut Who is faked <laughs> Sex with me is like an astronaut It takes a whole team to make it work oh. Sex with me is like an astronaut I hope Tom Hanks plays me in the movie <laughs> Sex with me is like an astronaut. It started off with a dog from Russia. <laughs> Sex with me is like an astronaut. I hope Sandra Bullock plays me in a movie. <laughs> Sex with me is like an astronaut. Even gravity can't keep me down. Yeah. Oh! Uh, Sex with me is like an astronaut. Um, I'm going to explode before I break through the atmosphere. <laughs> Sex with me is like... Uh, sex with an astronaut, moons over Uranus. <laughs> sex with me is like an astronaut. That's one small grab for mankind. <laughs> one giant fuck for mankind. <laughs> <laughs> sex with me is like an astronaut. There'll be zero G spots. <laughs> oh! Sex with me is like an astronaut. You're gonna have to wear a lot of protective gear, otherwise you'll choke and die. <laughs> Great. Okay, one last one. One last one. One last one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little, I'm gonna go a little crazy. Oh, I'm gonna go a little crazy. It's, a, it's an intimate crowd. I think that we're all in a safe space. So when I say this word, shout out the word that you think of: war. Peace. peace. Sex with me is like peace. Sex with me is like peace. Uh, here's our other yeah. Sex with me is like peace. You're never gonna find it. Yeah. Uh, sex with me is like peace. Give it a chance. Uh, sex with me is like peace. Everybody wishes for it in their acceptance speeches for major rewards. <laughs> Sex with me is like peace, it's just two fingers. Oh. Oh. Sex with me is like peace, two in the pink, none in the stink. <laughs> Sex with me is like peace. Give it a chance. Sex with me is like, no. with me is like peace. Uh, we tried it a lot in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like peace. It's never going to happen in the Middle East. Sex with me is like peace. We'll gather once a year to talk about how we can get it to happen. <laughs> uh, Sex with me is like peace. There's only one. Peace. <laughs> Sex with me is like a piece. You all want a piece of it. Yeah. yeah. That's one. Come on. One more. One more. What? Yeah. I'll do another Middle East joke if I have. <laughs> Simulation just repeats everybody. You know. you know want to know the craziest thing about it all? What's that? Every single person that you just saw here on stage 
took classes with DaredevilImprov.com. What? Oh, yeah. You bet your sweet ass they did. <laughs> and that's exactly how they got here. That's how they us. got here. If that's something you have ever wanted to do, take some improv classes. We have improv, stand-up, uh, sketch, sketch comedy, stuff for your children. Yeah, if you we have offer them. classes for your kids. If you have kids that are creative and rambunctious, and uh, bring them over to these guys. Yeah, if, you, <laughs> if you don't have a kid, go find one. Sign yeah. up for our class. www.daredevilimprov.com Hey, you know what's also cool? Uh, oh, if, if, some, if you even want to know, if you want to try it, at the end of the show, we're having a jam. What? Yeah. No. The jam is anyone can sign up. It's at the ticket booth. You sign up. At the end of the show, we're going to have a jam where everyone can play games that you saw here tonight. And uh, it's a lot of fun. That sounds really fun. And if I didn't sign up for that, I'd regret it for the rest of my life. I would go do it right now. <laughs> Just something to think about. Well, 